For today's question, we've got a slightly harder integral here. We've got the integral of 2x plus 3, and that is over the square root of x plus 1. Now looking at this, I'm thinking I need to deal with the square root of x plus 1, and I'm thinking about using a substitution here. So I'm going to say, let u equal the square root of x plus 1. Now I know what I want to do with the original integral is to deal with each of the x terms and now I'm going to be using u. So I want everything in terms of u and then have a, a du instead of a dx. So I need to have something that will replace this x here and also the dx. We've already dealt with this because that is now u. Now the way to do that is, well, if I square both sides here, I will get u squared equals x plus 1. Now I can rearrange this to get that x is equal to u squared minus 1. So let's substitute in what I've got so far. We've got the integral of 2x, so that's 2 times x, which is u squared minus 1. So u squared minus 1. I've got the plus 3. And that's all over the square root of x plus 1, which is now u. Now, I don't know yet what dx is, but I can get that from here. So what I'm going to have to do with this u squared equals x plus 1 term is to differentiate that. Now, I'll have to do a little bit of implicit differentiation here. And when I do that, I will get 2u du dx is equal to 1. And now I can rearrange that to get that dx is equal to 2u du. So let's pop that back in. So instead of dx, we've now got 2u du. I can do a little bit of cancelling here. I can cancel that u with that one. I can bring this to outside the integral as well. So let's do that. So I've got 2, and then we've got the integral of 2u squared, I'm going to expand these brackets. So the 2u squared I've dealt with here. Then I've got the 2 times the minus 1, which is going to be minus 2, and then add the 3 would give me a plus 1. And that's with respect to u. Okay, well let's go ahead and integrate that. I've still got that 2. Now 2u squared would give me 2 u cubed over 3 plus integrating the 1 would give me a u and obviously I'll have a constant of integration. The next step is to expand the brackets so I'll have 4 u cubed over 3 plus 2 u plus the constant of integration and the last thing is to substitute back in for u well, u is this one here. It's the square root of x plus 1. But I'm actually going to rewrite that as x plus 1 to the half. And then it'll be a little bit easier to deal with down here. So what we've got is 4. We've got the x plus 1 to the half. But we've also got this power of 3 here. So that's going to be the power of 3 over 2. And that's all over 3 plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1 to the half plus c. Now if you found this video useful, please give me a, a thumbs up and in the comments below feel free to tell me which country you're from and what video tutorials you're looking for. Hopefully I'll be able to support you in some way with some more video tutorials.